any good coach typically has a game plan. But Mike Tyson famously said, everybody is a fighter until you get hit in the mouth. That's interesting, right? Everybody is a fighter until you get hit in the mouth. So back to your game plan. You're strategizing. You have What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now. Well, we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on You, with another episode of Black Fathers Now, and dig this, man. I pray everybody's doing well. I hope y'all are making everything happen. I hope y'all are living the life that you're called to live and, um, and taking those steps every day to do so. And um, in light of that particular comment, I wanted to drop something on y'all for you to think about in regards to how you're living your life. And I like to use sports analogies because, you know, as dudes, typically we can connect to or understand sports. And what I want to throw at you today is this game plan versus in-game adjustment. Game plan versus in-game adjustment. You know, uh, I'm thinking of this topic here. I have to first give a shout out to my man, Jared. Uh, you know, Jared McDaniel, he and I have in-depth conversations and you know, he challenges my thought process and he typically comes from different angles and perspectives, but it allows me to stretch myself and stretch my thinking. And I encourage everybody to have individuals in their lives who allow you to stretch your thinking or stretch how you view things. Because once you stretch yourself, then you're more open to understanding things from different angles, which then helps you to grow, develop and become a better person. Again, if you stay in an echo chamber, you know, the same thoughts of the same things, the same actions, you never stretch and grow. You just become more hardened in who you are, right? Challenge yourself to have conversations with sometimes differing perspectives so that you can stretch and grow. So for that, I give a shout out to my man, Jared. But back to the, the topic of the day, and it's game plan versus in-game adjustment. So when you think about sports, you think about football, you know, most of the time, if you're a coach, you step into it with a game plan. You step into it with, you know, your, your plays you're going to run and strategy against the defense and understanding their strengths and weaknesses, your strengths and weaknesses, how you're going to approach this, what plays you're going to call, when you're going to call them. You have all of that kind of laid out if you do your due diligence on the front end, right? That's your game plan. Any good coach typically has a game plan. But Mike Tyson famously said, everybody is a fighter until you get hit in the mouth. That's interesting, right? Everybody is a fighter until you get hit in the mouth. So back to your game plan. You're strategizing. You have things laid out. But what happens when you get hit in the mouth? Then you need in-game adjustments. So it's not an or. It's not that you need a game plan or you need to have the capacity to make in-game adjustments. You actually need both. You need to come to the table with some form of a game plan, but you also need the capacity for in-game adjustments. And when you really take a step back and think about some of the most successful coaches from a historical perspective, usually those are coaches who have game plans and know their players and all of that. But more often than not, they're coaches who have the capacity to make the best in-game adjustments. So you can be up by two or three touchdowns at halftime. Um, shout out to the Atlanta Falcons. Ooh. You can be up by two or three touchdowns at halftime, but then somebody, a coach, a great coach, makes an in-game adjustment at halftime and that two or three touchdown lead was not enough. Think about that. But now I want you all to think about that through the lens of life. Game plan. We all have a plan. We have, oh, by the age of 40, I want this. By the age of 50, I want this. By 
this age, I want to be doing this. And I want my kids to be doing all of this. We lay out plans, right? We lay out game plans. And then we start thinking about how do we reverse engineer those plans, right? We all do that. But then what happens when you get hit in the mouth? What happens when something gets thrown in your direction that was totally unplanned, unexpected? What happens when COVID-19 sets in? Because to, your, to, to that point, if you really are honest about it, and we're all honest about this, COVID-19 was a punch in the mouth for pretty much everybody. We thought we had life on autopilot. We're moving in the right direction. We're making adjustments. We're doing this. We're doing that. And then we get punched in the mouth. And we're like, what do we do now? So we had a plan, but like I mentioned earlier, it's not or, it's and. We had a plan, but now we also need to jump into the capacity for these in-game adjustments. So when it comes to life, what in-game adjustments are you personally making, you know, due to COVID-19? What in-game adjustments are you making? Maybe it's not COVID-19, maybe it's another situation. But either way, we're all gonna get hit in the mouth at some point, in some way, shape, or form. What adjustments, what in-game adjustments are you gonna make? And if you're not at a place in which you have the capacity to make those in-game adjustments, now is the time to start building that muscle. Because if you don't have the capacity to make in-game adjustments, I really don't care how strong your plan is, you're setting yourself up for failure. Because no matter who you're facing, there's going to be somebody that's going to be up on you at halftime. And if you can't make the proper adjustments, they're just going to keep you know, continuing that lead. They're going to keep building on that lead, right? But when it comes to life, that same thing happens. If you don't have the capacity to make in-game adjustments, if you don't have the capacity to change things up after you get hit in the mouth, if you don't have that capacity built in, now is the time to do so. So, fellas, take a look in the mirror. Do you have a game plan? Do you have the capacity to make in-game adjustments? As long as you have both, you're on the right path. If you have neither, get to work. If you have one and not the other, get to work. Either way, be honest with yourself because look, the goal here with Black Fathers Now is bringing the village to the brothers. We want you all to be the best version of who you are. And to be the best version of yourself as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a leader, you need to have a game plan, but you need to have the capacity to make in-game adjustments. All right. Well, hey, y'all, I hope all is well. Again, I hope this, this hits you right, and I hope you take action on it. Look, we're getting into the holiday season. You see I'm wearing a Black Fathers Matter hoodie. Go to blackfathersnow.com and click apparel. Click apparel through Cyber Monday. Through Cyber Monday is 20% off of everything on the merch or the apparel site. But go to blackfathersnow.com, hit apparel, or you can go directly to blackfamilyapparel.com. 20% off everything through Cyber Monday. I may extend it, but right now, don't plan on it. Through Monday, Monday Cyber Monday, 20% off everything on the site. Y'all grab something, rock it, share it, tag Black Family Apparel on social media, tag Black Fathers Now on social, social media, and... Um, you know, I appreciate y'all. And yo, until next time, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and uh and engage with us man look forward to hearing from you and uh i guess until next time i'll holler at you peace